Happy Saturday, guys. Only one more day until Valentine's Day. I can't believe it. Here I have Wendy Christina, and she looks so, so cute. And um, Eric is here in the background, so if you hear, <laughs> if you hear some noises, it's Eric. So I came on here to show you a haul that I am that I received for Wendy's twin. I am getting another twin A. I don't want the twin B. I want another twin A, but for a boy. And um, I was wondering. I love I love this hair that Wendy has, but for I was thinking about it. And for a boy, I think I'd like a different hair color. Just because mainly I don't need um, a reborn the exactly the same. I want some differences because I am getting another twin A. Um, I just love the fact that the twin A can have like a full pacifier. I love that so much. And I love like everything about this one, like her details. Um... I can zoom in and it'll still be in focus so like I love these details here's her other hand so beautiful but she is perfect and I am so excited to have a baby boy a twin for her um, I already picked out a name. This is Wendy Christina. So for the boy, I want a W name with a C middle name. And I already picked it out. So, but yeah, I love this little elf she's wearing. She's wearing pajamas and a sweater. Because it's really, really cold here, guys. Really super cold. But um, the other day, I picked up Colton. I have Colton here. He is my serenity kit. Looking so, so cute. Zoom in on him too. Aww. So cute. And um, I picked him up. And I was really surprised that his butt's kind of flat. Like the artist does have um, beads in here. But it's only like maybe this much. Now, baby... Wendy here. Sorry, it's a habit of me calling her Baby Wendy because um, her artist Wendy, Weeby Dolls, we're actually very, very good friends and we chat every day. And I don't want to get, like, when I talk to her, it's like, who are you talking about? So I'm used to calling her Baby Wendy. Um, I don't want to stretch this. Okay, anyways, I wonder if I can just... Ah, <laughs> so hard. Eric, do you want to come and help me with this too or no? Look at that detail. Let's see if I... Do you want to help me with something over here too? Isn't that beautiful? Hi. Isn't that perfect? Do you want to take this outfit off her please? Well, so I can... So I want to... Well, mostly... I just wanted to show her butt like Colton's. Look at that leg. Isn't that perfect? Because I wanted to do a comparison between... There. I'll zoom out. This is Eric. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I pressed. But hi, Eric. Hi. Eric is helping me. And he has a chocolate face. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Thank you. Look at the detail that she did. Thank you. Anyways, what I wanted to show you about baby Wendy here is that her butt is all weighted with with um, glass beads. And I love it. Like her tush is like so perfect. I love, I love how she is weighted. I absolutely love how she is weighted. She's weighted perfectly. Like, Wendy does a really, really good job. Look, I love that mole. 
But anyways, her butt like is all weighted. It's perfect. So after handling and playing with her for the longest time, like a few days straight with no other babies, um, I picked up Colton one day. And I'm like, oh, I wish your butt was, was plush like Wendy's. <laughs> but um, so I found a solution. So what I did was, you know, here's this diaper that I had. I put something in here to help. Now, this is what I've been using. This is called a Scentsy Scent Pack, and it's a pouch. And it's in the scent of newborn nursery, which is baby powder. In fact, this scent smells exactly like those Wonder Wafers. And they have, like, this is the pouch of a bunch of scented beads. And it's high quality scent. It's not like a cheapy scent. Like, in fact, these are pretty expensive. The Scentsy brand is expensive, but it's well worth it. Like, I've had this pouch open for, let's see, about four months, and it's still, like, super, super strong. Like, I just go like this, and my hands are, like, smelling like that. I think, I think they're oiled, too, like, slightly oiled, but let's see if I can zoom in. So, it's a Scentsy brand. And I'm not sure if, I think Scentsy is in the States. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm not sure though. I know it's in Canada for sure, obviously I live here. And I used to be a Scentsy consultant. I used to sell this, but not anymore. And um, I used to sell, um, they had a sister line called Grace Adele. And Grace Adele were um, purses. And these purses you can mix and match. It's a really cool system. But, um, um, it's actually nicknamed Transformers for Girls. It's funny. But, um, this is called Newborn Nursery. It smells exactly like baby powder. In fact, exactly like those Wonder Wafers. And, um, the beads in them, you can't really see through the, but I'll try and get one. Here's one. So it's like really, really, really tiny. Like that tiny and there's a whole bunch in here they don't weigh a whole lot if this is like this is pretty light but it still has that feeling like the feeling of padded zoom out <laughs> so I put it in this diaper and it sits like right there plus it it does like give him that scent so I love it. I love these things. I stocked up on a few of these. So yeah. If you have the opportunity to buy these and if you want a, a nice feeling tush, you can use these. Great idea. They come, you know, these scent packs come in a ton of different scents too. Like Scentsy Products has like so many, so many different kinds of scents. But um I wanted also to show you my haul for my new baby boy coming. Um, I want to tell you his name so bad, but I won't. Not yet. I want to leave it yet. Um, I bought these pacifiers too. I opened up the package already. But um, you know what? I didn't even have to powder these. And they fit her mouth like like quite easily so that's what they look like I put the picture on Instagram I think they're Advent but I didn't even have to powder this and it goes in pretty easily so but I wish they had pink they only have this color so far but I have two of these um, I wonder if the no, but it is an Advent Suvi. This is Suvi. Anyways, all these are newborn for the new baby coming for the new twin. Um, I have this. Sorry, my voice. Um, I have this navy blue and gray onesie. 
excuse me, I have a, um, this puppy dog is so cute. So cute. I love puppies. And this one, it says, Mommy Superstar. Aw, so cute. I love this color. And then, Wendy Christina, I know I bought her a monkey onesie set. It was so, so cute. I couldn't find any for boys, but I did find this. My husband, I can't believe I called him my husband. My fiance and I, um, we love camping and hiking. I called him my husband. Ah, I love that. Anyways, my fiance and I, we love camping and hiking. I thought this was perfect. I love this camo. Bushcraft camo. Actually, this isn't bushcraft camo. It's the traditional camo. But but then I looked and I'm like, oh, these are monkeys. I was so happy. I'm like, yes, I did get some monkey outfits. Yay. So I can dress them the same kind of. Yes, I'm so happy. So I have this monkey one here. And this is the monkey one, Mr. Cutie. I love that color too. I love that color of green. The reason why I'm I'm zooming in is because if I bring it up close, oh no, not this time, but sometimes it goes out of focus and I can't really do anything about it. So, yeah, I'm so happy and I can't wait for him to come. Um, Wendy Christina, WC name, so this new boy will have a WC as well. And I will tell you this, his name will not be William or Wayne or Wilbur. <laughs> it won't be one of those or a Wally. <laughs> no, it won't be a W name for that. And the C name will not be a Christian or a Christopher. It will not be something like that but it is a w name and it is a c name if you wish to try and guess what it might be please comment down below what you might think it is but yeah yay now he has now he has a nice twitch too <laughs> so anyways guys that's it for now i have some laundry to put away not so fun on that i have that is my scentsy warmer over there going it smells today i chose um watermelon patch oh it smells so good i love that smell so and i want to dust today and i have to vacuum today and then maybe we'll watch a movie after so it's beautiful beautiful outside right now the sun is shining bright although it's so cold it's like minus 32 celsius with the wind chill that is cold that is so cold that is like i'm not even sure what that is okay Fahrenheit. guys right now it is minus 19 feels like with the wind chill of minus 32. now i will change this to fahrenheit Minus one degree Fahrenheit and with a wind chill of minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is that such a huge jump? I am totally not familiar with Fahrenheit, but that seems like a huge jump. Minus one to minus 25 Fahrenheit. Wow. I'll put it back on Celsius like how I know it. <laughs> Minus 19 degrees and minus 32. So, anyways, guys, I hope that your day is a lot warmer than mine. Although I am enjoying this sun. It's beautiful. So, until next time, guys, I hope to do a video again. Um, here in Canada, we have a long weekend. Monday in Manitoba is called Louis Riel Day. And uh, I think everywhere else they call it Family Day. Although I think one more province calls it Louis Riel Day. I'm not sure. I forget which one. But um, yeah, I'm so happy for the long weekend. I probably will do some more videos. It's really fun. So anyways, guys, I hope you're having a great day. And please like the video if you liked it. Although, huh? <laughs> 
as I love seeing all the likes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because I try and do videos at least every week. Once I'm off, um, I'm a teacher, so once I'm on holidays, I will be doing a lot more videos. Um, I do have a channel for vlogging, and I have done a few vlogs last summer. Um, or was it two summers ago? Oh, it's been so while now. I kind of... Oh, I guess I totally showed everyone where I live. <laughs> I just realized that. Yes, this is where I live. In the Paw, Manitoba. It's not called Pass. It's called Paw. The Paw, Manitoba. So, yeah, that's where I live. It's really, really up north. And the Paw Airport, that is where I grew up. Yay! Actually, while I'm here at the computer, let me pause. Okay, guys, this is my personal Facebook and um, of me, not as, like, my name is Brenda. <laughs> um, this is my personal Facebook. I don't advertise my Reborns or I don't put any pictures of my Reborns on here. My family, um, they, they don't. They think the hobby is really creepy, <laughs> so I don't I don't put my reborns on here. But I just wanted to show you guys. These are pictures of like we love hiking. We don't fish or nothing. I don't like eating fish. Yuck. I do like pickerel though, but um I haven't personally fished. But um this is at the airport where I grew up, and this is back in 2012. I just wanted to show you part of the lake. The lake here is one of the th three clearest lakes in the world. Like, um, our lake is very, very, very clear. So this is one picture where we love to hike. Actually, we can't hike here anymore because um, they've put on some plots here for the public to buy so that they could put up cabins. but. When I was a kid, we used to picnic here all the time, and with my fiancé, he loves hiking too, and we picnic here all the time. So we just plop our chairs there and enjoy the lake, enjoy the view. This is the view that we have, and we just love spending the day there and hiking. We tried hiking one time here in the winter. Oh, it was not fun. We did not have snowshoes or anything. It was such a workout. But, um, and the property that we own, we own 32 acres of land. It looks a lot like this, but it's not at the lake, though. But yeah, this is how clear our water is. It's called Clearwater Lake in Manitoba, Canada, up north. There are two different lakes. There's one called Clear Lake, but this one is called Clear Water Lake, and it's near the Paw, Manitoba. But yeah, this is just a setup that's a wind blocker. But uh, there's my fiance sitting resting down. We like to. That's just me. I bought that. It's a. Uh, I love cooking outdoors, and um, because we're not at a provincial park. We're not allowed to have an open fire, so we just bring a propane cooker, and I just mashed up some potatoes and some pork and beans, and it's so good. So, um, I brought some snacks and some, uh, what's in there? Some more things, some reasons. And this is just some sweets, those marshmallow <laughs> strawberries. I know they're not healthy, but <laughs> they're so good, though. And that's our lake. So, yeah, it was windy that day, you can tell. But, yeah, and there's my fiancé. His name is Francis. Um, I knew we named our reborns a lot after him and I. So, yeah, I will marry him one day. Can't wait. So, it's just so expensive for weddings these days, isn't it? Oh, yes, this tree was, like, falling, and he was trying to push it to see if it would fall, but it didn't. It didn't fall. See, this was the day that we saw that they were planning on building lots, and we're like, oh, what's that? No! And our favorite land. 
our favorite spot is being sold. So I took a whole bunch of pictures before things got too busy in there. And now we can't hike down there, so it's kind of sad. But I've grown here. I've grown up here since I was four years old. And we moved away when I was 19 years old. So, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love the outdoors so much. So, oh, that's my Facebook. <laughs> that's Wendy. Wendy is trying to talk to me. Yes, Wendy. Hmm. Wendy, we talk every day. See, there's Wendy, Weeby Dolls. Oh, I don't know if you you want to see her on Facebook, but anyways, guys, I'm going to chat with Wendy and upload this video and daydream about my land. Oh, I can't wait. If you want to friend me on Facebook, please do so. Um, well, especially if you comment a lot, I will know who you are. But this is our property right here. This is the land that we own. And... That's part of it. We do have a lake in back, like far in back, but it's like a not as clean as clear water. Like it's definitely not a lake like that. But we just love spending time out here. And Francis, he likes to. Um, that's another shot from our property. He loves shooting his crossbow at his targets. So yeah, there's him and I. We in our hiking list at Christmas. I made and our Christmas tree, my little Christmas tree. Oh, this is, I always get this. I made that. My land is calling me. <laughs> I did a screenshot. I pretended that the, our land was calling us. And what did I say again? Oh, I didn't on this one, but it's your land is calling you. <laughs> my home. That's that Thanksgiving. This is fall. It's on our property again. Here's him and I on our property again. I bought a swinging hammock. Oh, I love it. It's a portable one. Absolutely love it. So, and that is the setup we had when we were going to spend the night. But I chickened out. <laughs> I heard these weird creepy noises in the woods and it scared me so... I we packed up and left, but um, I like this uh, provincial park. That's on our property in Canada Day, and that's my son Brendan, my son Eric, and Francis and I. Uh, my oldest son Jeremy wasn't with us at the time. It's another day. We go hiking. Easter. This is in the winter time. Oh, it was so hard walking there. This is, does this ring make me look engaged? That's when Francis and I got engaged when we announced it. So this is, oh, this is us. I love the scene. Being someone's first love can be great, but to be someone's last love is amazing. Francis and I both had previous marriages. He, his ex-wife and him did not have children, but my ex-husband and I, we had three boys three sons together so we share custody we share 50 50 and Francis has nothing to worry about he's lucky <laughs> he's lucky with that way so it's just in the ring that's a little sneak peek when I was hinting to people that I was thinking, there's my boys there's Jeremy Brendan and Eric it's all those from 2012 but Another remembrance day is Francis dying in. But anyways, I'm sure you might be